Zidane Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. As you can probably tell, we're going to be talking about Luca in today's video. But more specifically, we are going to be talking about Luca and Jagged Stone. Recently, since Desperata, a lot of people have been coming up with this weird theory that Luca is Jagged's son. Which, honestly, it sounds reasonable on paper, but there's a lot of little factors that if you look closely, you can actually tell for a fact that Luca is not Jagged's son. So let's let's look at back at Desperata for just the main example. First off, Jagged goes to Anarcha, basically saying that he wants her to play, uh, play guitar for him again. She's clearly done it before. She's basic. Uh, he's basically just asking her to play, uh, to play guitar for him, and nothing else. Um, but they do appear to have some romantic past, which, let's be honest, all. Let's be honest, a lot of bands have some aspect of that. It's just, it's gonna happen. But you may notice a few other things, though. First off, Jagged is clearly Luca's favorite um, musician. And while he doesn't necessarily know that... Um, the history of his mom and Jagged, it's clearly not a problem to his mom that he likes Jagged. He, I mean, his main shirt is a Jagged Stone shirt. He has a poster of Jagged Stone on his wall. He has, or had, a Jagged Stone pick. All of these little details show a big fan of a certain musician. But the simple fact of the matter is that if Jagged were his father, especially if he abandoned Anarcha and um, along with the two kids, there would be a lot of things that would be wrong with this picture. And Arca clearly doesn't like him, but it is to a much lesser extent than, say, someone who was completely and utterly betrayed and left with two kids to take care of by herself. It's very clearly a hatred because of the fact that of betrayal as a bandmate, not betrayal of that far and while it could reasonably make sense that he could be in there Luca is older than Julica while it's not clear exactly how much older he is from Julica, it is clear that he is somewhere between approximately 17 and, eight, and 19. Somewhere between there is my likeliest guess. Putting him a, a decent amount older than Julica, this, plain and simple, means that he would likely have some memories of his father. Some. Is it a lot? No. But it's enough to be at least aware that Jagged is clearly not his father, as he would have some connection to that. There's a lot that goes into it, but then we can look at the genetics, if you still don't believe me on these things. First off, Luca. Luca has clearly black hair, which you can see through his 
or dark hair, whatever you want to say, uh, because you can actually see his eyebrows. Uh, eyebrows are extremely hard to dye, and that's one of the reasons why you'll never see them get, uh, you'll, that's usually a good indicator of what someone's natural hair color is. Um, on top of the fact that you can actually see that his ha hair was clearly darker before it turned to blue. His eyes are also a bright blue. These factors are all connected to his mother. His mother has the exact same eye color. Her hair color was clearly black, as, like I said, indicated by her eyebrows, and her hair is just slightly lighter. But then the problems come with Julika. Julika has, again, dark hair, um, as she only has her highlights, her eyebrows, but the problem comes with her eye color. Her eye color is red, and a very, very clear red. Now let's look at Jagged, the supposed father of these two. Clearly, he had black hair as his primary color. This is actually really common, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you look closely at his eyes, you will see that they are a dark blue, making even the possibility for Julika to have red eyes to be extremely minuscule. The idea of her having red eyes at all is extremely minuscule, but the fact that her father has to have at least some red pigment has to be at least somewhere in there. Otherwise, she would not be able to have the red eyes. On top of the fact that this is the case, you must also then look again at Anarcha. Anarcha is clearly, clearly French, with pale skin, like me, and blue eyes, again, like me. I am French, uh, I have French DNA, that's how you can actually tell. Um, that's how I know. Uh, this is a very common way that things are in, uh, especially in Europe. And again, so does Jagged. Jagged shares the same features. He's slightly more tan, but that's to be expected since he's out a lot more. But he does still clearly have fair skin, uh, have whitish skin. But if you look at both Luca and Julika, there are several factors that clearly hint at a uh, Eastern origin, uh, whatever the, uh, and this is clearly shown by a lot of characters. If you look closely at all of the characters across the series, you can clearly see that there are similarities between Marinette and Julika, and Marinette and Luca. There are certain factors, which Marinette, we clearly know she is half Chinese. These factors do play a part in this series. We've seen this before. And because of that, it's clear that the, their father has to have had some Asian origins. And no matter what you see, uh, what you believe, it it's just simply a factor that we have to at least weigh somewhat. But then a question arises: Who is their father? Why are they? living on a boat why is all of these why all these things why did jagged well why is jagged like this why is he why did he abandon anarcha or whatever and honestly i think i have a bit of a theory 
as we all know, Anarcha was part of Jagged's band. Most likely there were some romantic feelings in there. But Anarcha didn't really have the same, most likely didn't have the same feelings for Jagged that he might have had for her. Eventually leading her to fall in love with another man. Possibly be um, some uh, someone from a rival band of theirs. These factors caused uh, caused Jagged to get jealous, choose another guitarist to fill Anarcha's place, and kick her out of the band. Anarcha then would go off with this per uh, with whoever this is. Doesn't matter who they were because they clearly didn't care enough. Eventually have Luca. Then a few years later have Julica, and then the guy runs away for whatever reason it may be, leaving Anarcha to take care of the two of them. Anarcha may have then turned to Jagged, who, prob uh, who probably was still at least somewhat friends with him. She would listen to his music because she's ashamed to go back to him or whatever. This music would then be passed on to Luca, who would love the music get interested in it, and start to have more and more of a connection to music, both through his mother and through Jagged. Is Jagged Luca's father? Plain and simple, the answer is no. There are multiple factors that show that this isn't, that Jagged is not Luca's father in any way, shape, or form. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Jagged could be someone who connects with Luca, being basically a second father, someone who actually takes care of Luca, takes him on to train him to become a musician. Absolutely, I think that that will eventually come to pass. I actually do think that by the end of the series, Luca and Kagami are going to go off with Jagged so that Luca can learn how to become a musician. He's going to tour with Jagged. Kagami's going to go with him because she'll obviously fall in love with him by the end of the series. And they're going to go off and tour the world, taking the dragon and snake miraculouses with them. Meaning that there will be more heroes just around the world. It's a reasonable decision for Marinette to eventually make. So, yeah. Currently... Jagged is not Luca's father in any way, shape, or form. But it could likely become that he will be. Or rather, will become like one. Which, honestly, I don't think Anarcha will necessarily have a problem with. She doesn't hate Jagged. So, she just doesn't want to be in his band anymore. Which is completely reasonable but anyways guys let me know your thoughts on this do you agree with my thought process or do you think that nope jagged has to be luca's father let me know i'm curious to know if you have any other theories about miraculous or my hero academia or literally anything else then also send me a theory and put a hashtag theory review in your theory somewhere and I'll make a video about it. Of course, if you 
enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if, if you're new, and ring that notification bell. And if you want to support the channel even more, then definitely head down to the description and check out all of the links down there. But anyways, guys, I've been Electro Ninja, and I'll see you guys next time. But on!